Hey friends, and today I want to show you about this Julia Rothman collection of books that I got. And I'd like to give you an inside look of what it is, what the contents are, and how you might be able to use it in your homeschooling. So this collection came in this really nice hard box, and it actually came with these three books that I can keep in the box. It's a little bit thick now because I did get them spiral bound. So they do come unbound. I'll put a picture in of the original form here. And so I did get them bound, but it came, they came in this nice book or this nice box with these beautiful, beautiful prints. And there's so many, let me show you. So we have Sunday Anatomy, these are prints that are on really nice cardstock. You could hang them on your wall as they are with some sticky tack or double-sided tape, or you could get them framed. Comb styles. <laughs> These would be so cute, like in a kitchen. This one I'm gonna hang up in my kitchen, perhaps. Or maybe this one, oh, herbs, maybe I'll do that. Maybe they'll just go together. Maybe I'll do them both. So those are adorable right very very cute decorate your homeschool room or your home space they're awesome so that's a little extra that is included in the collection I'll put them back in our box there and so let me show you the book so this collection comes with food anatomy nature anatomy and farm anatomy and I bought this originally because I wanted to use it with nature journaling and I was so excited to have farm anatomy we are farmers we're green farmers and not only is farm anatomy going through different farm animals but also farm implements which is more uh, sort of what we would look at for <laughs> relating to our farm so I was super excited about that as well as food anatomy and my excitement has grown a little bit with the food anatomy book as I think we're going to actually go through this quite a lot when we start to get more into home economics. Um, my oldest is only in grade one right now so I think I'm going to save this book for a couple years down the road when we really start to do a lot together in the kitchen and cooking and learning about food safety and food uh, preparation and things like that. So food anatomy will be super fun to go through. So let's let's go through the, the nature anatomy book first. I'll give you guys just a flip through one thing to note about these books is that this is the the index, the contents. So this is not going to be a reference book. It's not a book where you're going to go out into nature and you're going to find, you know, certain leaves or pine cones and you're going to come back and you're going to look it up. That's not going to happen with this book. But it's going to be a fun book to go through. So starting at the beginning or end or pick a theme that you can look for something um, that you can talk about nature with your kids. Um, what I plan to do is I plan to, for example, go to the, the flower part. We can talk about flowers and we can go out and do our nature journaling with our local flowers. And if there's any in here, I can look ahead to see if they do have any flowers in this book that are the same as what we have and what we can see in real life then we can pay special attention to those. But also this book is going to be great for our long winters in Canada when we don't get to go outside in nature a lot, where we can look at this book, we can read about the flowers, look at them, perhaps we can copy uh, what we see and draw our own pictures and paint our own pictures in our own nature journals. So this is going to be a really great book, not for referencing what we find, but to inspire you to find something locally and out in nature. So I do believe we're going to be using this a lot. This is great for science or for art. Like I said, nature journaling. So this is really, really fun. We even have some animals in here. So I'm just trying to not go too fast. Birds, feathers. So it's going to be so useful. This is not going to be a book that you use just for one year and you get rid of. It's going to be a book that sits on your family shelf that you reference again and again. So let's take a look at the farm anatomy. The fun thing about the farm anatomy is just the really cool stuff that she has in here. The things that she analyzes, barns, structures, doors. Um, she'll find things that she has done the anatomy on that you wouldn't really think of. Uh, maybe what the different parts are and things like that. Um, she has common ones too, but she has so many unique things in here that I just love, especially when I show you the food anatomy book. I think I was like, whoa, like that's so neat that you thought to draw that and to talk about it and to learn about it. And it's super fun. So 
Yeah, so there's different animals, different farm tools. Oh, look, there's edible flowers in there. Knives, parts of like cuts of meat and stuff like that. So that's farm anatomy. And then here, let me show you the food anatomy. So the food anatomy is so fun. She talks about all kinds of different foods. Look at this, like all the different. So this is just great fun. This is just gonna be really good for home ec and different things, different kinds of pasta. I'll finish a flip through for you guys to see. It's just so cute. It's such an attractive book. Food truck, the anatomy of a food truck is in here. Different drinks, very cool. So this is a very sweet, sweet set of books by Julia Rothman. Uh, so happy to get these. The reason why I coil bound them is because, for example, when we do nature journaling, I assume that we're going to open it up and we're going to be talking about things, perhaps drawing our own version of what she has here. And with the binding that it comes with, it's not the kind of book that you can just open and have lay flat. You kind of have to have your hands on it to keep your page open. And so I thought it was very valuable to go and get these spirals. I went to my local newspaper and got them spiral bound. It cost me $10 per book and it was well worth it. Um, and these are going to be very much more useful now. The newspaper was like, are you sure you want us to cut on these beautiful books? But they did such a great job. Uh, they didn't bind too close. And I did find that it didn't cut off anything essential, like it didn't cut off any words. There was enough of a margin at the side that it didn't affect um, in any negative way the book. So I'm super, super pleased about that. So that is the Julia Rothman um, collection that's all hand-drawn in this beautiful little box. Um, go check her out. I will put the link to this collection down below. If you love hand-drawn items, then you can find my video that I did on this hand-drawn maps book set as well. This is by Alexandra Mizielinska and Daniel Mizielinski and uh, they are very sweet, similar thing too. So go check that video out on my channel and have a great homeschool day.